Hey there planners, today I'm super excited to be setting up this gorgeous A5 Moterm ring planner for 2023. This is going to be my at home on the desk planner. It's going to hold all the long term plans, a lot of reference information, kind of be the master plan for my personal life. I'm excited to set it up today. I've got tons of supplies. Everything I use will be listed down in the description box below. So go grab your planners and let's get to planning. I am so excited to be setting this up with you today. I am in love with this beautiful cover from Moterm and I've got all kinds of really fun accessories to use. So I'll have everything listed down in the description box below for you to reference. These actually are some dashboards that I made. They're double-sided dashboards that I made. I have a tutorial all about how I make dashboards. Uh, how I make task cards and pocket cards uh, and how I make all of my inserts in Canva. Uh, and I'll have all three of those videos listed down below. So you see me playing around a little bit, trying to get that right aesthetic that I'm looking for. Um, these cards that came from Amazon, these motivational quote cards are so handy and so adorable. I'm really excited to have those. Um, so I'm just playing around a little bit to get everything set up. And you know, this planner is gonna be very much a reference planner and kind of a master planner for the year. It's gonna stay on my desk, it's not gonna travel anywhere, and it's gonna have a ton of reference information. And I'm excited about having this, um, being able to keep longer term collections and lists and things for the year as a whole. So um, I love this little insert with the pockets and I have several things I want to be able to keep handy with this um, so that, you know, if I do want to take it with me downstairs versus up in my office um, that I've got, you know, the things I, I want to use to plan right there in it. So these dividers, these clear uh, plastic dividers are so handy from Amazon and they actually come with uh, labels, which I found really handy. So the first section of my planner is going to be my inbox section. I absolutely love these transparent sticky notes that I found on Amazon. Um, they are such an affordable option compared to other uh, transparent sticky notes that I have found at planner shops. Um, so in my inbox section, I have all of my getting things done list, like my someday maybe list and my waiting on list, my projects list. I also have my list of reoccurring tasks, which are so important to have in your planner. I have a video all about how to set those up for yourself. I'll have that listed down below. Um, and then I also have my brain dump triggers, which I use for my weekly review also another really important process for me in my planning and I'll have a video about that listed down below too. Um, the next section I'm going to be setting up is my list section. I'm super excited to have this section because I use these a lot and it's going to be nice to have them in a place where I can reference them in the future. Things like what I want to add to my planner, um, what I need to buy, my wish list, gift ideas list, um, you know, just all those lists that can last quite a while, um, having those in one place that I can quickly reference and come back to and pulling information from my day to day planner, which I am going to be using a B6 Stology this year for my daily planning. Stay tuned for the setup of that. Um, but having the ability to pull from that and put in these longer term lists is going to be so handy also have things like to watch list and my skincare inventory, my makeup inventory, so that when I go to make those purchases that's available to me. This next section I'm setting up is all about my home and family, and I'm gonna have a tremendous amount of confidential and private information in here, including passwords, account information, family member bios with things like social security numbers and medical information, all of that stuff I'm going to keep in this section. And um, that is one of the reasons why I wanted to have a stay at home planner, because I do want to have a central repository for this information in a place that I feel like is secure. And 
There are not a lot of online places that I feel like are secure enough to house all of this information in one spot. I do like to have it on paper, but I don't want to carry it around with me. So that is another reason why when I went through mapping out my planner system needs, um, having this at home reference planner was really part of the solution for me. All right, the next section I'm setting up is kind of the calendar section. And you can see I've got this stack of sweaters and cuddle weather. So obviously I will be updating the look and feel of this planner as far as dashboards and acetates and vellums, things like that as, um, as, the, year, as the seasons change. So in this calendar section, I'm gonna start out with my future log. Um, I do want to keep a future log in here, and then I also will put some holiday reference information, special days, that kind of stuff in this section. I'm going to set up the section for January for the first month of the year, but I'm not going to do much with that. I will have a January setup video, um, and I want to spend some time talking to you guys about how I plan to use this planner in conjunction with my B6 Stology, which will be my you know, ride or die on the go daily planning tool. So stay tuned for that um, January setup video. All right, this next section I'm setting up is all about this channel. This is where I'm going to keep video ideas and um, video scripts and statistics and kind of tracking information, tracking uh, progress. Uh, all of that stuff. So I wanted to keep a section in my planner for this. I will tell you, I am also experimenting with Notion uh, for a few things. Notion is sort of a digital productivity tool. Um, give me a thumbs up or put a comment down below if you use Notion. I would love to hear what you use it for. But I have been experimenting with Notion and um, I'm thinking for you know, managing this YouTube channel, that might be a good option. So stay tuned. I do plan to share with you some information about Notion uh, and how I'm using it. I'll do that in uh, 2020, early 2023. Okay, um, I'm setting up a project section as well as a meal section. Um, those are some of the items that are remaining back here um, and you know just with reference information again particularly the project section I will have quite a bit of reference information project plans printables things like that so um, you keep seeing me break out my label maker where I don't have a pre-printed label that says what I wanted to say um, so that's what I'm using here And the final section that I'm going to have um, in this planner is a health section where I'm actually um, going to be tracking like cycle tracking and medical appointments, things like that. I wanted um, a bunch of reference information back here. So I'm keeping that in the back. That's the last section of this planner. And then I'm going to do just a little bit of decorating in the back with some planner cards. Um, making it look sort of, you know, aligned with the cool sweater weather season uh, and also keeping um, keeping aligned with this kind of neutral theme that I have going. So with that, my planner is all set up and I'm ready to do a full flip through so you can see kind of the order and all of the materials that I have used.
All right, as I'm coming here to the end, I really hope you enjoyed seeing how I set this planner up. I hope you're looking forward to seeing how I use this planner in the new year. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up to let me know. I hope you'll subscribe to Plan and Annie for more content like this. Stay tuned for the B6 Stology setup. I'm super excited about sharing that with you. And I look forward to planning with you in the new year ahead.